Okay, let's go upstairs. Whoa, it's dark. It's dark up here. Where's the light? Uh, is that your lamp? Oh, yes. Don't pass that. Yes, turn that on. Okay. Um, where am I? Okay. Do, 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 do. I apologize for my jerky movements. I am not used to playing games on my computer. I should probably get one of those remote thingy bobbers to connect to my laptop because, yeah, I'm not used to moving around with my computer screen. It's just bizarre. Sorry about that. <laughs> it is really dark in here. Okay, weekly planner. Huh. Couples bowling, cooking class, ballroom dancing, cooking class, yes. Ah, this looks like the mother's planner. Yes. I need a light. I need a light. Where's the light? Where's the light? Oh, there it is. There we go. Let that be light. Hmm, wonder whose room that is. But that's her little sister. Let's read these. To whom am I concerned? I, Samantha Grenbrar, am 17 years old and therefore an independent, fully functional human being. No, you're not. The fact that you still forbid me for going into the city on my own is frankly absurd compared to Katie, who is only three years older than me, and yet you allow her to go all the way across the ocean to another country on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own, like a human being, and since you may also remember that I have my own car, you can't really stop me. No, I will leave every light on in the house. Who's this Daniel guy? Ah, cassette player. Remember those? Oh, there's a cassette. Let's put that in. Uh, hipster music. Fuck you too. Cool smug. Codes. 
remember when I had to do that. And it was so hard before, like, YouTube and crap to find cheat codes. Let's take that out. I had to turn that off. That was way too loud. Let's look at her, uh... Let's look at our video game collection. How do I zoom in again? Okay... Ah. Let's look at this one. Or not. <laughs> wow. Adventurous, the cat. Let's look at these ones. Is there one in there? Yep, there's one. Journey of the Crystal. Nothing in here. Okay. Let's go in our closet. It's dark in there! Why is it? Oh, okay. Dang, this game's dark. Okay, pull the string. Her closet isn't as messy as her room is. How is that even possible? What's that? Is that game talk? Got your number? Oh my god, I had this game as a kid! I freaking love this game! That's so weird! Something she wrote? Okay, I'm just gonna skim this. So, this girl likes writing. Cool, cool. Blah, blah, blah. Allegra, blah, blah, blah. So, she's a bit of the creative type. Oh, Lisa Frank! I remember these. Although, those a little more like elementary school than like high school, though. Holy Bible. I'll just, uh, put this over here. I'm just gonna oh, throw it. Sorry. No, that's blasphemous, but I don't really care. Um. What's under a pillow? Let's investigate. Hi Lonnie, I wrote this in the first period and left it in your locker on the way to school. It's what all the cool kids are doing, I've decided. Write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. That's kinda cute. Hey, this is a great idea. What are all the kids actually doing? Is sending each other pages. But cool that yeah yeah yeah. Your drawing cats was so good that I added a background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick to my writing though. Haha, oh, I like it. How did you know they're about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr. Fish right away. I think he'd probably have lots of cats. Uh, secret shame. He watches nine one two I know religiously. I'll ask him after class. He says he doesn't have cats, and also that he's never watched 90210, but I could see in his eyes he was lying. Yes, yes. So, she likes writing. Mm. 
we have that in common. So dark over here. Okay. Let's try crouching. This is the bike me and my dad are building. It's kind of hard to read the handwriting in this game. Maybe I'm just really terrible at reading handwriting. It's gonna suck when I teach one day. Grade C plus. Some teachers are just assholes. Oh, that helps. Looks like the kind of magazine I would have as a kid, if you know what I mean. Looks a little, um, homoerotic. Huh. Gotta find that code for her locker. Hmm. Let's see what kind of book she likes. Frankenstein. Oh my god, that's one of my favorites. Scarlet. The Call of the Wild. The Virginian. The Jungle Book. Tom Sawyer. Emma. Oh, she's got a good collection going on here. Yeah, she definitely enjoys writing and reading. I think I would have been friends with this girl. Need to find that locker combo. That, that doesn't help. Okay. Ophelia! That's one of my favorite pieces of art. This girl has some serious taste. Hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school? Oh yeah, I forgot this is 1995. That's so weird. It came out last weekend, and Tom won't shut up about it, so either it's good, or we can make fun of him for liking it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna read the rest of that. Where's the light? There it is. There's no way this is a girl's bathroom. A girl would have those cabinets filled with crap. stuff. Wait, what? Is that blood? Oh no, it's hair dye.
Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited, and the moment was gone. Oh. So, Lonnie was a girl she had a crush on. Kind of had a feeling. That's all the time I have for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos while you're at it. And I should go. It is, without a doubt, one of the most 